Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for at any time in November, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. If you hear me coughing a little bit, I do have a chest cold, but I'm handling it quite well. Um, but anyhow, so what do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Anytime in November. Crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So there's a birth here. <clears throat> birth of something new. What do we have for Virgo? Let's fix the tripod. What do we have for Virgo? Birth or conception of a child or enterprise. So the birth of something new. Could be a new job, a new business venture. Um, whatever it is, it's something that's going to impact your life, right? What do we have for Virgo? Ooh, could be dealing with a Scorpio or this is happening during Scorpio season, which is right now. Increase in money. So you're going to see an increase in money during this time. That's good. What else do we have for Virgo? The wheel, wheel of fortune. Archangel Jeremiel. New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. So the wheel of life is spinning. It's spinning in your favor. So we have a change in direction here. Very positive change. Luck is on your side. New beginnings, the end of delays. So there's the we have the end of a delay here. A change in direction that offers happiness. Beautiful. What do we have for Virgo? Just cut the deck. We got the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So I feel like you're probably vibrating at a very high level. You're in a very positive uh, mindset. I feel like uh, you're strong, you are, um, there's high confidence here. You may be even being admired. It feels like there's some sort of admiration that is coming your way. You may be even be in the spotlight. There is somebody here that is seeing your, your uh, they're seeing something about you. They're seeing your energy. They're feeling your energy. Um, they're watching you. It could definitely be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could also be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like you are taking on a very, I think that you're vibrating at a very high level. I think that you're in a positive mindset and everybody can see it. Uh, there's high confidence. There's high self-esteem. I feel like um, you are in some sort of spotlight. Okay, I feel like you're in some sort of spotlight here. There's a lot of admiration that is coming your way. I feel like there's some sort of success. I feel like you've earned some sort of recognition or something like that. Um, we do have the King of Cups here. This is somebody that is um, very feeling. Uh, this is a very feeling king that tends to act on feelings. So I'm wondering if somebody is going to be expressing feelings to you. Um, hmm. What do we have for, maybe even just getting some emotional support from somebody. What do we have for Virgo? Ooh, Queen of Swords reversed, Moon reversed. So 
So somebody is getting a reality check. There's some sort of truth that is coming out. There's been something that has hidden that is being revealed. It's harsh. It is harsh. This is the harsh truth. This is cold, hard truth. The cold, hard truth. Somebody could be getting cut out, you know, with the Queen of Swords reversed. It's very harsh. Uh, moon reversed is truth is being revealed. So there's some sort of reveal here. Below you is the hangman. Could be dealing with the Pisces in particular. We have Pisces in the moon card, Pisces in the hangman card. We also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, in the past, we have the eight of pentacles reversed. Uh, presently, we have the ten of wands. In the future, we have the tower reversed. Mm -mm. Five of cups. Eight of uh, swords reversed. An obstacle is being removed. Your outside influence is eight of swords reversed. Whoever you're dealing with is removing an obstacle. Maybe they've been scared or they've been, uh, well, they've been held back by fear. Or they've been in a place of mental turmoil or they've been trapped in a situation. The, the obstacle is being removed. We have uh, wish fulfillment, the star card. Uh, in your hopes and fears position. So a wish is being granted. You've probably been praying and hoping for something. Your prayers have been heard. What's the overall outcome? We do have the Wheel of Fortune up there. So we do have a new beginning. The end of delays. Ah, King of Wands is the overall outcome. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, action being taken. Um, somebody's going to be taking action. They're going to be doing something um, noble. Uh, making a decision. The decision is being made. I do believe the decision is being made in your favor. In the past, somebody hasn't been putting in effort. They didn't try hard enough or they weren't interested. They weren't putting in much effort. I feel like there's been some sort of indecision. Uh, the basis of the situation is the hangman stuck. And we have the eight of swords as well. So I wonder if somebody has been stuck. They've been hanging on to something that doesn't really serve them, trying to prove a point, or they were held back by fear, or they were sacrificing themselves for a cause or a belief, um, refusing to let go or struggling to let go. That's the basis. That's the basis. Somebody's been in their mind. They've been in their thoughts. They've been really, really struggling to let go of a of a mindset or a situation that they have been hanging on to. There's been a lot of fear. Uh, but I think that we have a release of fear here because I see a lot of strength. I see a lot of courage, a lot of confidence. Um, somebody's going to be following their dreams. And I feel like you've been dreaming, you've been wishing, you've been praying, you've been hoping. And I feel like your prayers have been heard in some way. I feel like uh, there's some major disruption here, internal disruption. I feel like whoever you've been dealing with is really struggling. They are struggling with... Um, Maybe admitting their feelings or struggling with stepping outside of their comfort zone. They've been grieving. Whoever you're dealing with has been grieving. They've been moping, um, wallowing, you know, focusing on a loss, uh, ignoring an opportunity. I also feel like you have been ignoring an opportunity. I feel like you've been stuck. You've been... Uh, uh, maybe you've been feeling really alone. You maybe, maybe you've been feeling upset and angry over a rejection or something like that. But I feel like whoever you've been dealing with has been, uh, overwhelmed. I feel like they have been overwhelmed. They've been busy. They've, they have a lot on their plate. They've been, uh, struggling. They've been really, really, really struggling, uh, struggling with making some sort of decision. We have indecision here. Um, because of fear. There's a lot of fear here, but I feel like we have a release of fear. It is a release of fear with the moon reversed and the eight of swords reversed. And the tower is a permanent loss. It's, it's a profound life change. It's unavoidable change. Somebody's been trying to avoid. They've been trying to avoid change, staying in their comfort zone, playing it safe. But this is a point that's, that they've reached a point. I feel, I feel like they've reached a point where they can't hang on anymore. It's, it's really time to let go. It, you know, it is time to let go. Um, I feel like right now you've probably reached a point with this Ten of Wands where you've reached a point where you're ready to give up 
I feel like you've reached the end. You've reached the end of your rope. This is overwhelming. Maybe you have given up. This is, this is right now. This is presently. This is like the end. It's like the end of the rope. It's like I can't do this anymore. Um, I do believe you've reached the end, you know. Maybe you've closed yourself off to somebody, cut somebody out, you know, um, with that queen. Maybe you've turned cold or you've turned, you know, you've decided that you're not going to put effort into anything anymore. You know, it feels, it feels like you've reached a point where, you know, you've reached the end. You can't hold on to this. You know, you've given up. You've given up. You've given up hanging on. And I feel like whoever you're dealing with... Um, has been held back they've been held back by fear but they are about to remove that obstacle um king of wands taking action so i think that i think that somebody is about to take action they're about to uh do something probably spontaneous page of cups Page of Cups next to that King of Wands. So you're going to, I feel like you may have an admirer here. You may have somebody that's going to be, you know, sending you a message or they're going to be communicating with you. There could be messages of love that are coming. You could be falling in love with somebody. Um, two of Swords reversed. So that is, the, the, this is like, coming clean, beginning to see the truth, opening up. Somebody is going to be opening up. They're going to be expressing feelings towards you. Um, this is what you've asked for because below that is the is the star card. It's like you've wished for this. There's some sort of guaranteed success here. It's feel like you, it feels like you have been hoping and praying for somebody to open up to you or to express feelings for you or take action towards you or to do the noble thing. I feel like your prayers are going to be answered. I know that I've already said that, but this is wish fulfillment. This is wish granted. Um, unexpected. Unexpected help is arriving. Somebody is letting go of their fear. They're, this is letting go of fear. I feel like, you know, down in your advice, we have the five of cups. This is like grieving over a loss i feel like you've been moping i feel like you've been moping i feel like you've been grieving you've been uh, probably not realizing that there's another opportunity here focusing maybe you were rejected by somebody and there's some sort of upset you know i feel like you, there's some sort of upset but your life is definitely about to change an obstacle is being removed. There's been some lies. Unexpected help is arriving. This is what you asked for. Be confident. Be proud. Hold your head up high. There's an opportunity. You're going to be getting... I don't know if somebody's going to be pursuing you, but you may need to unblock your emotions. You may need to be open-minded. You may need to... Uh, have confidence in yourself. Be confident. Believe in yourself. I feel like you've been hoping and praying for something and your wish is being granted, but it feels like you, you know, there's a potential that you could block this opportunity with that two of swords. You know, don't block it. Be open minded. Be positive. Think positive. A message is coming or a new suitor is coming. There's somebody that's going to be. I don't know. It feels like they're going to you're going to be this is a welcome message of love. You have to be open-minded. Be open-minded. You need to let go of your fears, okay? Maybe you need to be yeah, you do need to be open-minded. The Queen of Swords reverse, that is in your present position. That's somebody who's not open-minded that may be cold, maybe bitter, maybe harsh. You know, there's a lot of fear. You need to release your fear. Be open-minded. Maybe you've given up on love or you've given up on somebody that you were hanging on to. I think that uh, there's some sort of renewal here. There is a renewal. An obstacle is being removed. Whoever you're dealing with, there's an obstacle being removed. That person is removing an obstacle. They're going to be stepping outside of their comfort zone. 
page of pentacles reversed now i don't know if this person is is giving up they're giving up a commitment or they're giving up something they were working on they're quitting they're not interested in pursuing it anymore four of wands four of wands is a commitment so it does have to do with a commitment this person may have been afraid of commitment or they're they're leaving a previous commitment What is this tower reversed in the future? That is a, it's a sudden change that you never saw coming. It's unavoidable. It's an unavoidable change. Okay, you never saw it coming. Somebody may be moving. Um, Emperor reversed. It could be dealing with an Aries. A tower is an Aries card as well because it's ruled by Mars. It could be dealing with the Aries. Could also be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, it could also be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, we also have Pisces here. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Aqu yeah, we do have that. Um, I feel like we have somebody here that you're dealing with that is feeling a lot of internal disruption. They are uh, hiding something. There's falseness. There's false impressions. Uh, this person may be protecting themselves. They're angry. They're upset. They're feeling um, very uncomfortable angry angry avoiding confrontation but this is unavoidable change ah magician so this is taking action i feel like there's forced it's like they're being forced to take action this person somebody that is angry they're upset they're ready they're going to be they're going to be taking action they're willing to shed the old to bring in the new this is somebody that is very skilled that is very um, aware okay this is somebody that has a divine connection to source that knows that knows that they have to take action they are going to be taking action this is as above so below this is what you asked for getting what you and they know i feel like whoever you're dealing with knows that they need to take action they are going to be they're going to be finding their inner resources they've been weak this person has been weak they've been hanging on to a false sense of security but i feel like they get some sort of awakening this is awakening of some sort they get some sort of i don't know connection some sort of uh Maybe it's an intuitive message or something. This is this is as above, so below. Willing to do whatever it takes to bring success. We have somebody here that is very upset. They are very, very, very upset. They're going to be doing something. This is what you asked for. It's what you prayed for. It feels like you've called in something. This person has been blocking their emotions. They're going to be opening up. They're going to be expressing something to you. Um, a welcome message is coming. I feel like it's going to be a surprise. You never saw it coming. This could be somebody brand new because it, it, it feels like you have called this in. This is something that you have prayed for. It's something that you wished for. You need to let go of your fears. Maybe there's fear of commitment here. You need to let go of your fears. Be open-minded. Somebody has reached a breaking point where they can't hold on to what they've been hanging on to anymore. You know, it's time, it's time, it's time for a change. The wheel is spinning in your favor. Luck is on your side. This is the end of delays. We do have a change in direction that is bringing you happiness. Okay. I mean... I feel like you are going to be feeling really, really good with, with whatever is happening. Extremely good. Um, it's like dreams really do come true. Three of Wands reversed. I wonder if somebody is coming back. Somebody that left is coming back. I do feel like you're unprepared. I do feel like you are unprepared. It almost feels like somebody is coming home or there's or something like that. Or they're coming back. There's been some sort of delay. There's been wasted time. There may have been a third party situation here. But there's a new awareness. I think that we have somebody here that has become aware with that magician card. They've been become aware of their wish fulfillment. They've become aware of their dreams. 
They've been uh, stubborn, extremely stubborn, hanging on to something, sacrificing themselves, removing an obstacle where they have, somebody's removing an obstacle where there, it's a dead end. They've been in a dead end situation where there's no prosperity, there's no uh interest okay there's no interest but i feel like now it's like committing committing to a new path Ooh, grieving over a loss there's grieving there's sadness over a separation so we have somebody here that is very sad they're sad over a loss, they're grieving. And I can see that with the Five of Cups as well. So we have somebody here that is grieving. They're really, really, really sad. You could be attending an up, a gathering, a get together in the near future. There could even be a reunion here. You may be having a reunion with somebody that has been held back or they've been tied to a situation. They're finally breaking free from it. Um, there could definitely be some sort of reunion or a get together or a, a going to a, some sort of, I don't know, party or something like that with the four of wands um the wheel of life the wheel is spinning you in a new direction we have somebody here that has reached a breaking point i feel like they're coming back around you may even be getting some sort of apology or somebody's going to be opening up to you um fool fool reversed okay the fool reversed is foolish behavior Somebody may have been foolish, may have acted recklessly, you know. It may have been bad timing as well. You may have gotten involved with somebody and it was bad timing. This is unfinished business. So I'm wondering if you, you're going to be dealing with some unfinished business. I feel like there is somebody that is really thinking. They're really thinking about their future. Uh, they may have made a poor decision or a poor judgment call. They may have missed an opportunity. They may be coming back around. Maybe they've gotten some sort of enlightenment here about wish fulfillment and happiness and somehow you're involved. Um, I do believe that, uh, I don't know if you've blocked somebody or you pushed somebody away. This may be the, that, that may be the thing that did it because of that two of swords, the two of swords reverse. That's like, that's like putting your guard up, setting your boundaries, you know, and maybe that's what did it. There's some sort of new awareness here I, because of that magician is an awareness. Uh, I, do, I do believe that we have somebody that's gotten some sort of awakening, you know, and they are going to be taking action. I feel like they're angry. I feel like they're angry. They're upset, you know, internally, internally upset about losing, you know, about, you know, there's some sort of block dreams or dream and, and there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here. Um, Somebody's going to be opening up to you. I feel like it's fire. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could also be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, this person has not. They, it's like they gave up or something like that. They didn't put in much effort in the past. They were sacrificing themselves for a situation or wasting time or, you know, refusing to let go of something with that hanging man. But this is a release of fear. Um, and I see anger. It's like just angry and upset and and uncomfortable and you know grieving, grieving over the loss. So I do believe that you are going to be receive, receiving some good news. I think it is unexpected. I think it's something that you've been hoping and praying for. Maybe this person was indecisive with the two of swords. They were torn in two different directions. Now they've made some sort of decision. Um, so good luck.